from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, June the 15th, 2020. Talks on Israel extending sovereignty to parts of the West Bank continue. Yesterday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sat down with U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman and with Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz, Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi, and Knesset Speaker Yariv Levin to discuss the issue in accordance with the U.S. peace plan. Israeli media reports that no progress was made in the talks. Gantz and Ashkenazi have said they back the U.S. peace plan but have not seen eye to eye with the Prime Minister on implementation. The Jerusalem Post cited Netanyahu today saying, I wanted to bring sovereignty to a vote within days, but the map, he said, isn't ready. He said, we are in talks with the Americans. We want their agreement for the entire matter. We held two discussions with blue and white. I don't know what their stance is, referring there to Gans and Ashkenazi. Netanyahu also said that the U.S. plan would not be brought to a vote, but will be used as a basis for negotiations with the Palestinians if they agree to talks. Netanyahu stressed the plan is not annexation, it is applying sovereignty. Well, for the first time in several months, a cluster of balloons carrying a suspected explosive device landed in southern Israel yesterday. The device was believed to have been launched from Gaza. Sappers were called to the area to defuse the object safely. An Israeli soldier who rescued a Palestinian man is receiving high praise from Israeli leaders and the IDF. The Palestinian was being assaulted by Israeli Jews in Hebron on Friday when the soldier ran to his aid. Benny Gantz wrote on Twitter, the Golani soldier who defended a Palestinian resident of Hebron acted as every IDF soldier and commander is expected to. IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kochavi praised the soldier's actions as well, saying that nationalistic violence is a crime that must be prevented, denounced, and dealt with fully. Ynet reported that the IDF's initial investigation found that the attackers also assaulted the soldier, who was able to help the Palestinian man escape before calling for reinforcements. Several of the attackers have been arrested. Their lawyer claims the Palestinian man threw rocks at them. The IDF is investigating. Police in Paris are looking into anti-Semitic comments heard at a protest against racism this weekend at Republic Square. The protest was against the 2016 death of a black man while in police custody. After a group who came to protest the protest held up a banner that said justice for victims of anti-white crimes, a few people in the crowd were captured on video shouting dirty Jews. The Paris Police Department wrote that it had reported the anti-Semitic comments to the French judiciary. President of CRIF, the French Jewish umbrella group, Francis Calafat, said the chants about Jews in Paris are an insult to the republic, but also to the cause that the demonstrators claim to promote. An Israeli scientist is looking into whether an anti-parasitic drug could help in the fight against the coronavirus. Professor Eli Schwartz is founder of the Center for Travel Medicine and Tropical Disease at Sheba Medical Center Tel HaShomer. He recently launched a clinical trial of ivermectin. Schwartz told the Jerusalem Post that the drug is being tested in people with mild to moderate COVID-19 cases to see if it helps shorten the length of the virus and get people healthy and testing negative quicker. The Genesis Prize Foundation announced the recipients of grants in honor of Robert Kraft, who was awarded the prize last year, pledging to help counter efforts to delegitimize and provide a truthful narrative of the Jewish state, called Speak Out for Israel. Kraft noted that anti-Semitism and anti-Israel discourse are not going away, and in many cases, he said, are on the rise. I am confident, Kraft said, that the organizations receiving Genesis Prize grants will be highly effective in this battle against hatred. 
26 Israeli and international nonprofits will receive the funding, including the Anti Defamation League of Israel, the American Jewish Committee, the Paris Center for Peace and Innovation, and On the Map, the new Israeli Film and TV Fund which collaborates with Academy Award-winning director Danny Menken and award-winning producer Nancy Spielberg to show Israel as a democratic, peaceful, and inspiring state. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight, for Monday, June the 15th, at 7.30, a symposium on the meanings of anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism by American Zionist Movement at the Brotherhood Synagogue in New York City. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with IDF Major in Reserve Amir Derry and Dr. Mordechai Kedar to talk about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. At 10, celebrity chefs speak at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up next, Mark Golub speaks with Peter Kirk an African-American member of the U.S. Civil Rights Commission, on whether there is systemic racism in America. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, June the 15th, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.